This is Sebastian Mendel Martinez for Chef Mel Spoden and Maximum Sports here with Simon Forrester who faces Sam Goroki at Zone Pro League 3 tomorrow night. And so we appreciate you coming up here on short notice, uh, filling in uh, against a very popular hometown fighter. Yep. And you kind of come in here like a, you know, a bit of a question mark to many, including Sam himself, who hadn't seen that much of you. For the, especially the Swedish fans back at home who, who will see you as a new face. Could you sort of introduce yourself a little bit and describe your background? Yeah, well, I'm uh, obviously Simon Forrest. I got into Thai boxing when I was about 25. Had mm -hmm. my first, quite late. Had my first fight when I was 26 and um, just fell in love with it and had, third, I think this is my 33rd professional fight now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, uh, I appreciate the, the, to be here and yeah. looking forward to fighting in Sweden. Well, like you said, 25 is a pretty, pretty late to get yeah. into martial arts. What, what was it that sort of like made you fall in love? <laughs> well, I had my first son. And just thought, right, well, I need to sort my life out now. Stop drinking and partying, and uh -huh. did it to get fit. And then I just got hooked and addicted oh. to it. So I got addicted yeah. to something else, then. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, dig it, dig it. And so uh, you took this fight on short notice. Just how short notice was it? Um, three weeks. I got the phone call, and I mm -hmm. thought, no way. I'm too overweight. I was training my fighters at the time for they had some big fights coming up, and. Um, I was, and then I thought, oh, I don't, how how longer am I going to get offered to fly around the world, to live in my dream? So I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to have to do it. So I just had to quickly sort my diet out and just get <laughs> running and training twice a day and just get fully focused. And three weeks dropped quite a lot of weight. And uh, yeah. All right. Well, great. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, here we are, Gothenburg. Your opponent's hometown. You know, yep. he's pretty popular here. Yep. Uh, have you had time to like look up his fighting style and some of his techniques? I, um, so when they uh, offered me the fight, they sent me his name. I had a little look um, at his last fight against a Thai, beat a Thai opponent. Mm -hmm. Looks all right, but I don't really, I don't really care. I just love fighting. I just thought, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and you're obviously much more experienced than yeah. he is in terms of pros. Uh, how much of an advantage do you think that'll give you? Because obviously there is a bit of a step up going from amateur to pro. Yeah, well, I've never had an amateur fight, so um, I just got straight into pro fighting. But um, yeah, I think I, I should have the experience as an upper hand. Um, mm -hmm. I've never fought in a cage before, so I don't know if he has. but. Um, other than that, yeah, I think I've definitely got the upper hand with my experience, so I feel quite confident going into the fight. All right. Well, he prides himself in being a quote-unquote intellectual fighter. He says he, you know, doesn't like taking a, a whole lot of risks and stuff like that. Yeah. Would you say maybe that the, the route to victory is making it a little bit of a dirtier, not necessarily dumber, but perhaps a yeah, just a dirtier, sloppier fight in a sense? Well, I'm not, I'm not sloppy, but I'm quite, um, quite aggressive, quite relentless. Um, I'm always in an exciting fight, so you're going to expect fireworks one way or another. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sure the fans, both tuning in on the spot and around the world via Afterblood Plus, are looking forward to fireworks, which have just been promised here by Simon Forrester, who faces Sam Goroki at Zone Pro League 3 tomorrow night. Don't miss it, and thank you very much. Good luck in the fight. Thank you very much.